Hey y'all, this is Simmer Down South, and welcome to part nine of Let's Play Get Together. We join Sloane here as she eats her spicy BLT breakfast, while Rylan's upstairs enjoying some alone time with candy, so we'll leave them to it. In the last part, Sloane was rejected over and over and over again by friggin' Sergio, who is ruining all my plans for having him and Sloane get together behind Siobhan's back. So he's kind of being a douchebag about the whole thing. And I'm a little irritated, if you can't tell. I had all these grand plans to have all this drama, and it's just not happening. Oh no! Okay. I was worried she was going to walk in on them. That would have been really awkward. Let's not do that. So, oh, I guess this is like the only computer in the house, huh? I thought we had another one. Do we not? Nope. But we do still have the Christmas tree for some reason. Let's, um, let's get that dealt with. We no longer need the Christmas tree here. So, okay. So that's gone. I thought, okay. I got rid of the decorations except for the Christmas tree, which is weird. Okay, that's cool. Oh, sure, let's take a picture with you in your underwear and alright, let's um let's change outfits here. There. Okay. Let's um let us go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a picture for real. Take photo with Candy. Since they are friends. Could be a cute picture. And it is, of course. It's very cute. So we'll take a few. Let's do... There's some filters. Let's do... Um, that's good. Nope. Nope. That's interesting. We'll do that. Okay. Got some pictures with our buddy Candy. Let's, uh, let's get to know her a little bit better. Since she is sleeping with our best friend, seems like something that should happen. She's like, don't break his heart. He's super sensitive. Like, he's a really nice guy. She's like, yeah, I know. But otherwise I wouldn't be here. Hey. Let's get to know her. And ooh, enthused about new albums. That's always a good one. She wants to start a club gathering and level up charisma skill. Okay. So let's, um... It's still pretty early. It is not quite... 8 a.m. yet. Oh, and Candy just became good friends with Sloan, so that's cool. That's awesome. So let's tell a joke about ducks. And give her a heartfelt compliment. Discuss favorite band. We can reveal a deep secret. Reached comedy level four. Sloan can now joke about fashion. Those knickers, am I right? Yes, those knickers indeed. Let's see, we are... Let's discuss about neighbors. So, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. So, they do have some neighbors over here. And, to be perfectly honest, they're kind of bitchy and uppity. Well, at least one or two of them are. There's one that's kind of cool that's still trying to find her place, but... The girl who owns the house is a biatch and she is going to eventually come to kind of despise Sloane and Rylan over here because thinking tonight would be a good night for them to throw a party at the house and it's going to end up making a lot of noise because they're going to be mixing some beats, they're going to be dancing, they're going to be drinking, they're going to have a really good time. And these folks over here are not going to like it. So I will be introducing them probably in the next part. 
I think, just to try to shake things up a little bit because I feel like it's kind of been a bit of the same old, same old throughout the last few parts of this because we go out, we go party, we come home, whatever. So need to little, have a little bit of a, a rivalry thing going on. And um, one of the members of this household is in a club that I created a while back that um, has some interesting values. And it could make things a little um, more exciting, if you will. So Sloane here, she wants to, we're not buying a pool. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. She wants to chat with someone. Okay. So let's actually start a Paragon's gathering. Let's see, gather at Bath Darrell. Let's go ahead and do that. Because I really want, I'm determined to get this thing with Sergio to, to go off. Like it's been driving me a little crazy to be honest. I need for this to be a thing. Paragon's club gathering has started. Club members have been notified and they are on their way. Okay. Let's um let's change into your swimwear. There we go. That's nice. And if we're going to let's take a picture together. Why is he tense? Oh, then this lady just pops up. Why are you tense? Let's discuss interests and have a deep conversation with him. And let's see here. I'm gonna just kind of go balls out here and kiss his hands. Oh, he actually took that one. That's a first. Okay. Let's reveal the deep secret. Be like, Sergio, I've had a crush on you for the longest time. I know you're with Siobhan, but give me a solid here. A solid what? Let's give him a pickup line. Will he... Uh, I don't know. He'll probably just throw, toss that to the side. Oh, nope. He's liking it now. Did something happen with him and Siobhan? Let's talk about the latest party. And we are going to... Oh, he's accepting it. Let's give him an embrace. This might actually happen now. It's going to work. Let's hold hands. And... Let's have our first kiss with Sergio. Ooh, what are we talking about? He's talking about me. Is he talking about me? Oop, first kiss with Sergio. It just got real. Oh my. Okay. So, we're going to whisper seductively. Yes, we are. Who else in the hot tub? Got a couple people in the hot tub. That dude's big. Okay. Oh, and now he's... She wants to do a backflip into the pool. That's cool. Okay. We can, uh, we could do that. Or we could go upstairs here. Let's, um... Let's do a coffee for here. Let's do a cafe latte. See if, uh, what happens between, if anything happens between Sergio and ourselves in front of Siobhan. I'm not going to dictate any of that, but we are going to get in the hot tub. And let's see what happens from there. So we have Luna and Sergio and Siobhan all in the tub, and here comes Sophia. So the whole gang's in here now. They're all just going to chat, it looks like. What if... 
What if I had her woohoo with Sergio in the closet kind of almost right in front of her already. It's like, oh hey, um, I've gotta go check out this thing. It's like, yeah, me too. Oh no! Is she gonna witness this? Is Siobhan gonna see this? Okay, so they just... Okay, so Sloane just propositioned Sergio right in front of Siobhan and nothing happened. So they're gonna go woohoo in the closet now apparently, and Siobhan's sitting there none the wiser. Oh, what if they come in here? Okay, oh my, okay. That is definitely, yep, that definitely feels secretive. Sophia's going downstairs, so that's good. So hopefully nobody comes and interrupts us. Woo! The suspense is killing me. So, yep, Sloane and Sergio are woohooing in the closet in the Paragon's hangout while Siobhan is just chilling here in the hot tub. Okay. Oh my gosh, now what? So she's officially having a fling behind the leader's back as well as hooking up with Johnny and Paolo. And oh, she is naughty. Naughty, naughty Sloane. Well, that was wildly successful. Completely unexpected. That's exciting. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where to go from there now. Ooh, I have ideas. I have ideas. Okay. I'm going to have to put some stuff in motion. I may have to play off screen a little bit to get everything squared away, but ooh, I have ideas. So Sergio is going to get in the hot tub right next to Sloane. Oh, Siobhan's not even- oh, there's Siobhan. She was under the water. Just felt like, oh, that's so nice that Sloane and Sergio are becoming such good friends. That's lovely. Okay. Let's, um, Let's brighten Siobhan's day. Just to be like, yeah, nothing happened. I don't know. Let's see. We're going to talk about the Paragons. And we're going to... Let's, um, let's just chat with Siobhan. We'll tell her dramatic story. And we're going to discuss our interests with her. This is a very attractive elder. And this dude's enormous. Okay, I'm the leader of Paragons. I think it's great. Probably not for long. But I'm not going to ruin that. I'm not going to spoil that one. So we're going to... Alright, so Sloane's starting to get kind of tired. And we have certainly achieved what I was looking for with Sergio here. So I'm going to have... I'm going to end this gathering and send Sloane home. See what Ryland's up to. It's three in the afternoon so it's um time to check on some other things but that was that was extremely successful that was fun the suspense was kind of killing me a little bit seeing if they would walk in on them or not Ooh, i like having that closet there that certainly makes things more interesting okay so we're gonna head on home and see what rylan is up to I wonder if Candy's still there, just kind of hanging out. That would be a little slightly stalkerish, but they are an item now, so who knows. Not sure where to go with that. I do like them together. I do like that a lot. Might just kind of ride that one out. Sloan is getting tired. So let's have her grab a quick bite to eat. Do we have anything in the fridge? 
We have spoiled BLT. That won't do. So we'll cook something. Let's do... Let's do some fish tacos. And Rylan is on the computer. Looks like Candy's gone. I think Candy left when Sloan was already home, so that's cool. Let's see. Hey Sloan, it's me, Johnny. Do you want to go out on a date at Spock's Spot? Yep. We're going to go on a date with Johnny. Sorry, Rylan. You've been put on the back burner. Sloan is just where it's at right now. Going out on all sorts of dates with people, getting asked to clubs. I mean, she is just... She's... What is the... What are the kids saying these days? She's slaying. I'm too old to say stuff like that. All right, Johnny. We're going to kiss him right off the bat. We're going all in here. We're going to change our outfit, though. We're going to go to everyday... Two. This date just keeps getting better. You betcha. Let's see, we're going to reveal a deep secret. And, ooh, passionate kiss. I want to take a photo with him. So let's take a photo with Johnny. She's saying, I'm about to overthrow the leader of the Paragons. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, so they're going to take a picture together. And that is also quite cute. Take several of those. There's some lag with the pictures here. Okay, that was weird. I know she's tired, but... Okay, we're going to flirt with him. And what else can we do? Oh, you know what? I need to put that big arcade thing in here. That looks like a good spot for it, too. I'm going to do that real quick. Real quick, like. So, get rid of... Nothing delete. I disagree. I'm going to put the wall coverings there. And we're going to probably in electronics would be my bet. Yep, there it is. There it is. All right, we're going to toss that right there. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Let's see. There's that there. I kind of want to... Hmm... That's fine. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. So they have a little arcade thingy here. So let's play an arcade game with Johnny. Seems like a good date thing to do at this place. I do like this. It's a Sheldon's spot. I don't remember if I renamed it from something else or not. But... It is on the gallery. It's really cute and colorful, which I'm a fan of. And I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so they're playing a game together. Who else is here? Marcus and Dominic are here. As well as this dude, Dwight McCaig. And this fellow, he looks like that Villarreal dude. Okay. We have Mortimer Goth over here. Candy just went by. We're going to get rid of this backflip over here because that just didn't happen. Be friendly with Johnny. We can pin that. So we'll, we'll hug him and tell a funny story. Oh, looks like she's winning. Johnny doesn't look happy. Let's ask Johnny about his career. And brighten his day. Let's see, we want to discuss favorite bands. Start a club gathering. I'm not going to pin that one. Alright, let's discuss our favorite band. 
and talk about latest party and get to know so she's super tired so I don't know if we're going to get around to that party tonight like I'd hoped although I could oh, Johnny's a secret agent nice so I could get her some sleep replacement which I might do I think I'll do that although it is I feel like we're going to run out of time before throwing this party I don't know what to do. It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. That is that is nice. And let's have a deep conversation with him. And we'll flatter him a bit. And do an impression. Discuss logic puzzles. We're just going to talk his ear off. And then we'll caress his cheek. And... We'll compliment his appearance. Dance for an hour. Nope. What is this? Be mischievous to Demi. We are not a fan of Demi. Is she around? There she is. Is she going to come stalk us and be creepy? Looks like she's lost some of her muscle tone. She was super muscly before. Alright, so... We're going to get rid of that, too. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to get our flirt on with Johnny over here. Let's see. We're going to... Let's compliment his appearance and gossip. Oh, they have full bars now. And we'll flirt. She's getting super tired. She's going to pass out on me if I don't get her home. Oh, that would be bad. And discuss dance techniques. I don't want to end the date early. I'm going to pick up line. And... Oh, share photos. We're going to blow a kiss. See, I kind of play Don't Wake the Llama. No, we don't have that right now. So she's not getting the whim to be boyfriend-girlfriend with him. Which I'm kind of surprised about, to be honest. I figured with as high a relationship as they have, that would be a thing. But apparently not. Not really feeling it, I guess. Let's whisper seductively and compliment appearance Let's see she wants to she's not getting that whim at all chat with liberty so she wants to chat with liberty but not thanks for a great date okay we're gonna go home before she completely collapses on me and i think i am going to actually wrap this part up here it's been an interesting day, that is for sure. Sloane just kind of dove in at a club gathering with the Paragons and started flirting with Sergio, and he was extremely receptive to the point where they woohooed in a closet at the pool in the Paragons gathering area. And then as soon as she got home, Johnny Zest called her and asked her out on a date, after which she's extremely tired so that was um that was fun i didn't get everything done i'd hoped to so i think in the next part we will throw that party and introduce you to the neighbors and i hope you guys like this part if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so it means a lot to me and if you have subscribed thank you so much for all your support and i will talk to you all next time bye guys